Good Tuesday afternoon, YouTube viewers. I figured I'd give an update to the Orca. Show you a little closer where I soldered around the top here. I did build this ladder. I didn't show that on video. All I did was just take some brass rod. Um, I think this is eighth inch. Okay. I need to make a top piece for this area here, and then we can start working on the plank that comes out the front. So to do that, I'm gonna take a piece of paper, go right underneath the windshield frame, get it up tight right there, and then I'll just rub the shape of that into the paper. I probably should mark that windshield as well. What I'll do is I'll cut that out with a pair of scissors and I'll add um, just, just a small amount to it, same as the way this hangs over up here, you know, 3 16 of an inch, eighth. I'm going to have that same overhang, which I soldered up underneath there. Yeah, how am I doing with the camera? Okay. So, let's see here. I just uh, figured I'd start working on this again. I've been busy doing other things. Okay, I cut out that paper template, transferred it onto my copper. I'm going to cut that out, and I'm going to turn the edge up on that turning machine we used in an earlier video to make this piece. And um, once I'm done that, I'll get right back to you. I'm cutting it just outside the line because... I felt it needed to be just a bit wider to turn the edge. See the way I'm using the snips, the uh, material, the good piece can run off flat off the top of this. Just cutting just outside that line. I'm take off some of this material in here. See now I can turn these up right side up because I was using them upside down on purpose. And I can bring it into that corner because the waist piece can come up this side here. Okay. under there, like this. And, um, we'll go turn that up on the edge, on the edging machine. Okay, I have made that piece. We turned up the edge. And we made it so it would fit under here. And that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so we'll get the solder and that on in a little while. A little gap right there. I'm 
Maybe I could push that up a little. Somehow. It looks a little better. Probably easier to solder. Make sure my point is in line with kind of by eye with everything else. That looks good. I think we're going to start working on a plank for the front here. Um, not out of this material. I'm going to start with something smooth. And um, we'll work some board lines into it. I think the original one on the, the Orca boat in the movie was... I think it got narrower as it went to the front. And so each slap board had a little gap in between them. And it just the spacers got narrower as it went to the front. But, yeah, that's how far I uh, researched this. <laughs> but, um, completely unnecessary. But, I'm going to, uh, I don't think that's going to be long enough for the overall scale of the boat. It doesn't look like it. I'm going to say I'm going to cut me a strip a little longer than this. And, um... Start working on that because I'll turn the edge down on that too. But I'll probably just do it in the box and pan brake machine because it's going to be a long, uh, straight edge. And uh, then we'll get on to using that eighth inch brass rod to build the uh, the guide railings for around that. All right, we'll see you in a moment. Okay. So that didn't fit too bad. Let's see what I mean about trying to line it up with the front center with the mast and the front point here. Yeah, don't look too bad. You'll never see this, most of this. It's going to be hidden. I don't know why I spent so much time on these some of these details. Square this off first. I got a one eighth mark there at this end, and I'm going to go to zero at the other end. Okay, so it's tapered on both sides.
Okay, so. I need to keep tweaking this around. But you get the basic idea where I'm headed with this. Take some working around. As you can see, I just go by eye. And eventually it fits nice. Okay. Let's see here. We got that. There's the front. Of course, I'm going to uh, pull all this apart before I solder it anyway, but... At least that's the general gist of what I'm about to solder together. And this plank here is just held on with that weight. What I did was I notched out the so I could fit it right on there. Made a groove at the end, notch at the end for the front of the windshield. And made it narrow up in the front there. All right, so I'm going to pull this out of here, too. Side of that. Side of that in there. So I have the plank on top. Get going on this railing up front so I can start putting some of these down posts to attach to the plank. Okay, we're going to do some soldering here. Your picture is not upside down. I have the boat upside down, clamped in a jig, so I can get this uh, bulkhead soldered on here. I already fluxed it, set my torch here. I don't want to uh, heat this so much that other stuff starts falling off, but I want this thing hot enough to Heat the pot I'm soldering quickly and move on. So let's see. Huh. Well, that's not good. We already started to move. Off. Move ourselves around to this side. We'll heat back here so it's not to melt the solder we just put on the front. So let's put a little heat on that. Drop the solder behind it. Oops. Oh well. Alright. What side is that on? I'll we'll hook this on around here. Heat that up a little bit. Boom. 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 That's all. Okay, so yeah, I just clamped that boat onto the rollers on my workbench supported the mast so now we can take that off of there Let's see now that's in place okay now let's fit the um, this front boardwalk on here or plank or whatever you want to call it I'll set up something that holds that in place and we'll solder that on next. Okay, now I've fluxed that uh plank onto the front the boardwalk there let's pick up this wire before I step on it and um all right my torch is almost ready there all right let's uh let's 
go ahead and I put a heavy weight on there just to hold it down. I fluxed it a little bit. Okay, so a couple things going on here. This thing's pitched downhill. Once this is all warm, the solder is going to run downhill. It's also going to run to where the heat is. So this cold steel weight isn't really going to help the situation. I'll tell you that right now from experience. But what I need to do is I'm going to heat up this uh, plank first because I want the solder to go under it. If I head up, if I heat it up that bulkhead first solder will be all over the surface of that. So, let's see if we can pull this off without uh, melting anything else around it. Alright, let's heat this thing up. Get that, get that thing to draw that solder in there. And kind of work it down there. You can see it working its way down. Alrighty then, I'm just going to uh, put that cool off, remove my weight, and then I'm going to clamp this wire in place so we can make a handrail. And there's a bunch of factors in play here, you know. I um, made this wire wider than the plank because that's the way it is on the boat. These posts that hold up the top rail. The posts that hold up the top rail um, are actually angled out, so the railing's like wider. So if you were standing on here, you'd lean out. But I guess that's just a bunch of nonsense. All right, so that's cool enough. Yep, nice. Okay, so that'll clean up nice. Um, all right, let me set up for the wire and we'll solder that on. Okay, I got a spacer in here and a weight on top holding that in place for this rod. I keep calling it a wire. It's it's brass rod. These clamps are like 50 cents or something, so as soon as I heat them, they may just lose their spring. All right. So again, I'm going to heat the thicker brass rod. First, so the solder primarily gets to that rather than just flooding across the, the copper, which is easily heated. Now, I don't want to heat the copper side so much that something else falls off. It gets a little tricky as you start adding stuff. That brass rod up. I'm just above the copper a little bit. Just give it getting that thing hot, driving the heat down that brass. And now I'm gonna come around, heat the brass rod right there next to the copper. Send some solder in there, heat it a little lower, get out of there so I don't melt something else. And that's it. Let that cool a few seconds and then we'll um, See if we're going to solder something else on, or if that's it for the day, we're going to wash it up just to get all the flux off of there. It's very important to clean it really good. I've used TSP, you know, trisodium phosphate type of soap with warm water right away, and it tends to work very well. I use a um, water-based flux, which is still difficult to wash off. Um, I've had pretty good luck with... Um, like simple green, 
it's a natural, supposedly, cleaner. Alright, so this is plenty cool. Thing with soldering copper, it usually cools fairly quickly and you can set up for the next step pretty quick. But that don't look too bad. It's starting to uh, take shape. Now I just did this to scale, you know, that distance compared to maybe a person would be walking here. And, um, you know, like this piece of copper for the bulkhead, it's, it's a textured piece. I didn't go for a smooth look. This is a boat that's been on the ocean, getting battered. So that's why I went with the hammered hull, too. There's no, no problem with that. didn't need to be smooth. But pretty pleased with it so far. I'll make a piece of brass rod that goes um, down and underneath. See, this this railing is further than the plank, which is the way it is in the movie. And I'll put some down rods here, angled, you know. I'll tweak this if I got to. But, yep, there it is. And I guess, uh, Let's see what I can do, do next here. Okay. I have drilled eighth inch holes in this plank. I nipped the corners out of the front and I bent this front rod up. So that'll go under there. And then, uh, I took some small short pieces of brass rod and got a length there, scribed it, cut it. And I just bent the end just a little bit, like an eighth inch down it. Just bent it a little bit. And uh, that way there, when I put them in, they'll be angled off to the side. So, um, what I'm gonna do now is uh, take this and flux all these points, clean them a little bit, get it ready to solder. Okay, gonna do some more soldering. Just heating up that brass again. back up so I can move this. Alright, it's right where I want it. Let go of the heat so it can cool. Oop. Yeah, we're good. We're good here, folks. You know what? I'm not happy with that. I'm going to warm it back up and move it back. Yeah, that's what I want. Gonna add the little angle to it. A little C D there. Okay, let's warm this up. Okay, shape there. Alright, now I'll flux up these other rods, put them in place. Ouch. 
still warm. It's still warm right there. Let's see, this might. We need to set something up to hold this up. I'm putting these at the same angle as these front ones, kind of. I'll move this one into place and I'll solder that one too. Okay. We've finished that front gangplank, or whatever you want to call it. So it didn't come out too bad. Okay, um. I think the next video is going to be probably working on the mast, the rigging, the jib, I think it's called, that comes out, and I have to build a, a, a muffler system that comes up that side from the engine compartment. But, well, not a bad day. Looks good, I think. Give me the thumbs up if you like it.